amigos, it's home o'clock once again. Welcome back to my channel. Last time I shared to you the transformation of our dining room. Today I'm so so very excited to show you our living room. Let's go. Okay, let's open the door. Hi. Wait. Bago po ko pala ipakita sa inyo, uh, I will show you first, siyempre, how does it look like before. Amigos, when we look at this property, 2018, there was no living room. This space was a storage for heavy equipment, for farming, and tools for car carpentry. And it's very dark. The only source of light is this uh, small uh, window over there. But it didn't discourage me. It challenged me. Before I started to work inside the house, I had waited for all the equipments, including tractors, to be sold. When everything were gone, then I cleared the area. I am sitting in the door between our dining room and our living room now. But it was like this before. It was a uh, pantry facing the dining and behind was the corner for tools for carpentry. So my first task was to demolish the pantry, open it up and I made a step using pallets.
is like a blank canvas ready to be painted Bahrain, May 2020 and, and live here alone for seven months. During that time, ginawa ko po ang loob at labas ng aming bahay because uh, lugar namin, mahirap pong gumawa ng builder, lalo na maliliit na projects. And if makakuha man, napakatagal po nilang mag-schedule. Gaya po ng aming door, mga 6 months bago na install. So hindi hindi ko kaya maghintay na matagal dahil gusto ko po bago dumating si Don Pedro is comfortable siya. So uh, I tried and did it by myself and I'm glad Don Pedro trusted me to do it. So are you ready? Para tingnan po ang aming loob ng aming bahay. Okay, let's go.
Cuba. I'm sharing you my projects to give you some ideas na pwede nyong gawin sa inyong tahanan or mas pagandahin pa, di ba? Sa pag ng bahay, hindi kailangan na palaging bago, mamahalin, kahit simple lang, at uh, gawan nyo ay napakasarap sa pakiramdam. Kung may budget, pwede, pero kung limited lang, uh, kailangan lang natin ng tiyaga, maging practical, at uh, palikutin ang himahinasyon. Kailangan malikot. For example, ito pong wall clock na ito, yari lang yan, la, yari lang po ito sa paleta. At tinunturahan ko lang, tapos pinhamurang clock na nabili ko sa mga palengke. And pinaganda ko lang, pinaikot ko lang ang aking imahinasyon. At ang ito, so isa nga lang ng uh, puno na natuyo ni Linis ko. Meron po akong video niyan tungkol sa decoration made of dried woods. At ang aking patungan ng TV, kinuha ko lang po rin ito. Yari po sa, sa demolish cabinet galing sa scrap. So, di ba? Konting pintura, ayos na. Thank you so much, amigos, sa panonood ngayon. I hope you enjoyed the video and most important is you learn something. At ating tandaan, ang maayos na pamamahay, daan sa magaan at maalwang pamumuhay. Okay? Hope to see you again. Talwego.